In this video, we'll be looking at some more applications of right triangles, specifically bearing. If you've not already done so, you need to copy these two ways to express bearing in your notes. When a single angle is given, it's understood to be a measurement from due north in a clockwise direction. So a bearing of 61 degrees would be in this direction. A bearing of 330 degrees, again you need your due north, and 330 degrees is almost a complete revolution. Um, so that bearing would be in this direction. The second method starts with a north-south line. The bearing is an acute angle either east or west of this line. So a north 42 degrees east bearing, you'll start with your north-south line. And since you're going east, you want your bearing to be in this direction, 42 degrees off of the north line. A bearing of south 31 degrees east, you start with your north-south line, and from your south line you want to go east 31 degrees, so your bearing would be in this direction. South 40 degrees west, start with your north-south line, and from your south line you want to go west 40 degrees, so your bearing would be in this direction. And then north 52 degrees west, start with your north-south line. And using your north part of that line, go west 52 degrees. So the bearing would be in this direction. Now let's do an example. A bearing from A to C is north 64 degrees west. The bearing from A to B is south 82 degrees west. The bearing from B to C is north 26 degrees east. A plane flying at 350 miles per hour takes 1.8 hours to go from A to B. Find the distance from B to C. So let's start with our first sentence. The bearing from A to C. So point A, here's our north-south line. Let's put point A right here. And we want north 64 degrees west. So west is going to be in a counterclockwise direction. And we want 64 degrees. So that bearing is in this direction. And this angle is 64 degrees. Then the bearing from A to B is south, 82 degrees west. So we want to start from our south line. And we want to go west, 82 degrees. So almost 90, so maybe about there. So that direction, this angle is our 82 degrees. And then the bearing from B to C. Now we've not located any points uh, B and C, but uh, let's just put some points in from A to C. Let's put our C right here. And uh, our bearing from A to B, let's put our B right here. And the only problem with um, estimating these angles and just putting points in is that um, our triangle may not look like it needs to. Um, but we can fix that later. Um, now we know that a bearing from B to C is north 26th east. So from B, that means that we need our north-south line here at B. And from B, 
2C is 26 degrees east, so this angle needs to be 26 degrees. Now the thing, this looks kind of complicated. The thing that you need to keep in mind is that our north-south lines will be parallel. So this line is parallel to this line. And when you have parallel lines, uh, you can work with alternate interior angles or uh, same side interior angles or so forth. Uh, the thing that I'm noticing right here is that this is 180 degrees for the three angles. So I can uh, find my interior angle here, um, 64 plus 82 is 146, and then 180 minus 146 is going to be 34. So 34 degrees is this interior angle. And then I can work with this 82 degrees. This is my transversal. This 82 degrees right here is going to be congruent to this angle right here because they are alternate interior angles. So that'll give me a way to find this interior angle. So I can take 82 and that has to equal 26 plus some number. So subtract 26 from both sides. That means my angle that's inside here is going to be 56. So this is 56. Now if we add these two angles up, 56 and 34, we see that we get 90. So even though it doesn't look like it, this is my right angle up here at C. Alright, a plane flying at 350 miles per hour takes 1.8 hours to go from A to B. So from A to B is 350 miles per hour. Now that's not miles, that's the rate of speed. And um, they're traveling for 1.8 hours. So to find the distance here, we need to multiply these two numbers together. Distance equals rate times time. So 350 multiplied by 1.8 is 630. So this is 630 miles. So my 630 is the length of the side across from my right angle. My question is find the distance from B to C. So from B to C, we'll call that X. So again, I can use either of my acute angles. Let's use my 34. So my X is across from the 34, and this is my hypotenuse. So the uh, trig ratio that I need to use is sine. So I'll state that the sine of 34 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, and remember that was the 630. 
So multiplying both sides by 630, these will cancel, and x is equal to 630 times the sine of 34. So 352. I need, uh, looks like, two significant digits. So let's write it as 350. I'm going to write 352.29. And then take that to 350 miles.